Despite Winterfest 2023 just started, there's no trailer, but two free skins we can earn in game. Not to mention a secret free bundle that everybody can claim right now that nobody's paying attention to. On top of another free V-Book refund from Epic Games that they literally just announced and so many secrets added within this update. Stick around until the end, honestly you won't want to miss a second of today's video. Stop, don't forget before you pick up the battle pass or anything from the shop, you enter code FM1 inside here as it looks completely different now but it definitely still works, being one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter out there. It would mean the world to me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug and I'm going to have to purchase another big cutout now considering, yeah, it looks different in the item shop. Last video I wanted to know the name of this so here's a bunch of hearty comments on screen right now that got that right. Today however I want to know the name of this so let me know down below in the comments and if it gets hearted it could be shown on screen in the next video so make sure you subscribe to the channel as after all it only benefits you with us gifting different subscribers every single day with some proof for that recently on screen right now. First of all upon logging in today if you subscribe to the Fortnite crew a weird thing happens considering you get an exclusive style for the first present that you need to open but this flashes up before you can open the present in the quest tab if that makes sense. The gold style is obviously the Fortnite crew exclusive one granted to people but in order to give us that it needs to grant us the initial reward in the first place being the glorious gift blade. Again if you're in this scenario from going over to the quest and the daily gift section where we can open them instead of a Winterfest cabin that they didn't bring back this year alongside a trailer even showing Winterfest arriving in Fortnite. Upon clicking open nothing happens I mean it looks like this if you don't have the Fortnite crew as the Winterfest revamp reward screen however this will be only visible today if you're not a Fortnite crew subscriber upon opening the first gift. If you don't have any pop-up occur Fortnite state to set it best crew members due to an error the present you open in the quest tab today doesn't pop up a gift box screen of your reward the glorious gift blade check your locker to find it instead. The best way to do that is obviously toggle it to your recents and then boom it should be there visible straight away if not from a slight scroll down so you're not scrolling through your entire locker to find it. If you were wondering it's not just the first gift that's the same for everybody being the glorious gift blade to kick off Winterfest as Fire Monkey posted all Winterfest 2023 free daily gift rewards sorted by first gift to last free gift and as you can see from the image I've blurred the rest because I'm going to be putting them on screen one by one starting out with the glorious gift blade back bling moving on to the GG chilled sticker for day two holiday boxy the first free skin for Winterfest for day three snowfall or contrail for day four a banner icon of this slurp logo for day five day six the elite servo glider day seven the bushy bright wrap day eight the Christmas doggo blocker spray day nine the Winterfest wish music pack with the ship it express logo on it which we've got to mention more about in just a second day 10 the perfect pivot glider day 11 Winterfest flurry wrap day 12 our next free skin be Winterfest bush ranger day 13 a slap juice banner and the long awaited in the files for so long bedside banana back bling coming on day 40 this final gift will be available December 28th at the earliest with the event going on until January 2nd 2024 this is good as it gives us just after new year to actually unlock all of these in case you're away celebrating and speaking of new year if you're not doing anything special for it the event already got leaked for Fortnite going into 2024 with the firework display being the exact same other than the number that's displayed largely in the sky another free reward we can unlock instead of opening in a daily gift that everyone's forgetting about however is the snow globe smasher pickaxe for completing 19 total Winterfest quests on the outskirts of classic cars added today you will notice another iceberg location or floating in the water called Winterberg this island's incredibly good for loot in all honesty and speaking of the loot the things we crack open to get it out of chest they're revamped in the present manner complementing the Christmas theme I'm guessing this is going to be many people's go to land point and from doing so or hopping into a game you'll notice that the Santa Christmas battle bus with the big Santa balloon has been unvaulted or should I say re-added into the game unlike previous Winterfest years where we got three free skins two in the presents like this year that we can still get but there's no cabin added for 2021's Winterfest event we had Blizzabelle in the item shop for zero currency and the same last year with this variant of guff but if we go over to the item shop now there's no third Winterfest bundle or skin to be seen speaking of guff this could be changing soon with a long anticipated wait for a variant of the Fortnite surveys that I like to call the Guffmus tree being added as a literal picture right in front of our eyes at the Winterberg location in one of the buildings. I think we can expect any day now for Fortnite to announce on socials that this is literally in the item shop for zero currency as an extra present that literally surprises everyone. An even bigger surprise however is if you survive long enough in game you will now see the frozen revamped floating island with Crackshot's traditional cabin on top of it which technically means we do have a Winterfest cabin but not the one we wanted. Something we've been wanting for ages though is finally here being the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collaboration which potentially means leaked at the same time Spongebob could be upcoming in the near future from Paramount. Anyways added today despite the skins in the item shop upon downtime lifting which you should be using code FM14. From hopping into game a more secret map change not noticeable from the surface is the secret Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles underground lair. Although there's a physical point to access it we can use these drains to get in and out that have now been revamped with a green smoke emerging with the TMNT logo or text displayed on them. Speaking of Battle Royale's island despite what goes on in it in terms of changing the snow melting more towards the new year 
year when this event ends, looking like this is seen on the train station screen. A new LTM for this Winterfest event for festive fun has been added today called Ship It Express, and we can literally only throw things at other people, which excitingly has brought back the mythic goldfish which initially got introduced in Chapter 2 Season 1. This was huge back in the day, it pulled so many views on YouTube from people trying to create custom games considering the odds were 1 in a million to actually find them from fishing in Fortnite. And assuming most of you haven't caught it, this mode is now the best chance you'll have to actually use it at least once, so don't miss this opportunity. And surprisingly, with Winter taking over the island, not only that, but the Lobby 2 revamping it, literally the opposite of that is coming back to Fortnite soon. The floor is lava taking over the Battle Royale Island, of course working the exact same as it has in the prior years or across the prior chapter islands. Despite the release of Winterfest, Battle Royale is still not the most popular thing in Fortnite. Lego is still taking reign, only by a little bit, but since release, it's literally had the highest player base consistently. On December 13th, the Lego Fortnite status account communicated to us that they've actually buffed the max durability of tools and weapons by 30% in case you were kind of mad that they were wearing quick. And then today they posted some other changes. We made some more tweaks to Lego Fortnite, nerfed Brute Poison Attack and Frost Scorpion's Explosion, Critters have less health, and Spiders under Rocks are more rare, Petting Rams drops heavy wool, Grapplers can be used 30 times, more durability fixes. Yesterday we let you know we buffed the max durability of all tools and weapons by 30% but we found an issue. Rare and epic tools and weapons weren't buffed enough, we fixed this and you will now see their durability increase by 60% over what it was previously. Fortnite have really stepped their game up in terms of communicating or understanding the community across socials and today for that reason considering this image was literally posted every single day on Fortnite's official Twitter or the largest one, they posted again for no other reason than reminiscing on the memes, guess who's back with the exact same image. Speaking of Sergeant Winter however he's not currently on the island anywhere to be seen and I'm guessing he's going to be hotfixed into the game throughout the future days or weeks of Winterfest. Another NPC boss that many people didn't notice though is the Krampus one which actually does something even more interesting upon being eliminated out of said game, dropping a rare chest literally on the exact spot that he's eliminated on. Speaking of loot of course presents for the Christmas theme and Christmas wrapping paper are back not only in Ship It Express but Battle Royale also and apparently they've already been upgraded according to Fortnite status. Presents just got an upgrade, every present in Battle Royale now drops an epic quality weapon or higher for the rest of Winterfest. Some even better news however considering the release of the three new modes at the start of Chapter 5 shown off for the first time in the Big Bang event, specifically talking about the Rocket League mode cosmetics, people were disheartened to see that a car was 4,000 V-Bucks upon launch of this chapter. Fortnite have communicated with us again that they're changing this today, you turn ahead, we just fine-tuned our car prices, Diesel will go from 4,000 V-Bucks to 2,500 V-Bucks, the one in mention, and the Jaeger Cyclone will go from 2,500 V-Bucks to 1,500 V-Bucks. New prices will be out in the next few hours. Players who purchase these bundles will be granted V-Bucks for the price difference within a week, meaning we could potentially get either a 1,500 V-Buck refund for the diesel car if we already bought it, or for the other one, a 1,000 V-Buck refund, allowing you to potentially get a skin from the item shop with this, which is kind of free. After all, you initially anticipated to use those V-Bucks, but if you want an entirely free skin now that literally isn't tied to Winterfest since nobody's talking about this, the brand new PlayStation Celebration Pack is live, free for PlayStation Plus users, so if you activate your console as a primary PlayStation 4 or 5, you can get this across multiple accounts, obviously the Sub-Zero Cryptic skin, in his normal and Lego forms both of course, and also a Bat Blink surrounding the skin and a glider, there's nothing else considering in a previous PlayStation Pack, we already got this pickaxe and a few other things in the colour scheme or style of Sub-Zero Cryptic. Drop a like if you're hyped Winterfest is here and subscribe with all notifications turned on so you don't miss any future immediate leaks or news. Don't forget to enter code FM1 in time for picking up any of the brand new or returning Winterfest skins. As for where you go to now though, click either of these two videos YouTube's recommended you, it's a good suggestion. Whilst you wait for the very next upload, I do publish on the channel.